Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. And today we are going to machine a very thin part. It's about 20 thou. So let's get started. Here's our part. So we're going to pretend this came back from a wire EDM machine and they cut out this little sliver. So it's about 20 thou thick. It's rectangular and we'll show you what needs to be done after we check out this model. So yeah, 20 thou, very thin part, and it's going to look like this once we're done. So work on the outside and holes in it. So how are we going to do that? We can't clamp it because it's 20 thou and it's really thin and there's nothing in the middle, and we need to go around the profile of it. So we're going to do is we're going to make a fixture with a boss that holds this thing in place and then we're going to make a cap that goes over the top of it. So first things first, we move our models up and we're going to create the boss below it. So we moved our models up 20 thou. Now we'll just select a piece of stock, go to wireframe, and we'll make our block this thing's going to sit on. We'll make it six inches by four inches. That's small enough so you can grip this block in a vise between two jaws. So we'll make it that size, and then we will extrude this block make it about hit the check mark and then we'll go to create body we'll make it about an inch thick so here we go now the next part this is probably the most important part of machining this thing is creating the boss this thing sits on so what we want to do is create a rectangle and have it as a boss from this main block and this part will sit around it. And this boss will serve not only as a way to hold on this part but also a way to touch off the part because how are you going to touch this thing off? It's so thin. So this will help us touch off accurately and it will help the part from moving. So we just created a rectangle. Now we create some fillets. So we'll throw 100 thou radius in all the corners. Just because those sharp corners may cause trouble when we try to fit this thing over it. So, we can't extrude it because a wireframe is kind of messed up, so we just have to delete some wireframe and then add some more and then we can extrude this boss up. So, we'll delete a couple lines here and there. So we'll add that last piece of wireframe. Hit the check, and now we'll try extruding this thing again. So 
So hit the check. We'll want to go about twice the thickness of the part. Not too much, because if it's too thick, this thing will have a hard time sliding on. So we'll go about 40 thou, since this thing is 20 thou. Okay, that looks good. So when we machine this, this block, we're gonna machine this boss that's sticking out of it. Just about, you know, make it a slip fit so this thing can fit on it. Make it like one thou, one thou smaller than the inner profile of our part. And we'll put this boss on a separate level from our part. Okay, so the solids on a separate level, and then when you put all of our wireframe that goes with the solid on a separate level. Okay, there we go. So there's our fixture block. Now, what we gotta do is we need to add two quarter 20 holes into that boss. First, we need to make our planes. We need to take our planes up 20 thou so we can draw a wireframe on the face of that boss. Our plane is actually 20 thou in the wrong direction. So that didn't work. It did not move it in Z, I think it moved in X. So I'll just take a couple steps back. Too many? Okay, so the thing I like to do is I'll just hit edit, grab the gnomon, find a corner on that face, select that corner, then find the center of the boss, and then select the center. Okay, found the center of the boss. Grab the nomen, select the center. Okay. Our plane is where it needs to be. We'll double check. We'll select the center. Measure from the top, the left, the bottom, and the right. Okay, now we're going to add our core 20 holes. We'll go about half inch in either direction from center. Okay, now we can add the holes, diameter, quarter inch. Now we want to extrude these holes down. Okay, it looks like it doesn't want to go through both pieces, so we'll have to just draw a couple more quarter inch holes in the bottom of those holes and extrude them, which is fine for what we're doing. So yeah, go to wireframe, create some more holes, and just for fixturing, it doesn't matter if you do this. This really isn't the right, correct way to do things. You'd rather have it as one big solid piece, but for just a one-off fixture, you're fine. Okay, so we created the 
two circles at the bottom. We'll select them. Okay. And now we'll extrude them half inch. Looks good. So there's our fixture with two quarter 20 holes in it and a boss. And our piece of stock will fit on that boss with like a slip fit. So it'll position it square and it'll keep it from moving and it'll be our touch off point. Because how are you going to probe something that's 20 thou? See, so if you machine this, you already know your work coordinate system, where your work coordinate system is and should be. So, after we put that all on its different levels, so there is our piece of stock on our fixture. And here's our machine part. In our next video, we're going to make a cap with some through holes and that cap will be able to screw onto this thing and, and pin it down. And that will basically be you know how we machine it is we're gonna put it on the boss, use that to position it, then put the cap on, and then machine through the cap to do all of our features. And it should keep this thing really flat, should keep the 20 thou part from bending, and should work. So our next video will show how to make the cap uh, subscribe if you like this video, and we'll see you later. Thanks.